Now, India stands at the forefront of technological innovation and this wave of innovation is reshaping its electoral landscape. The intersection of politics and technology is becoming increasingly pronounced, especially in the context of election campaigns. And this next report puts the spotlight on the transformation in Indian politics in the digital age. Take a look. India is embracing technology faster than most other parts of the world. India's economy is truly digital, whether it is to make payments or choose their next prime minister. Indians are using their smart devices more than ever. While the proliferation of smartphones and internet connectivity has facilitated online outreach, traditional in-person campaigning remains a cornerstone of Indian electoral strategy. The 2019 parliamentary elections were dubbed the WhatsApp election, highlighting the growing influence of social media and messaging apps. However, despite the digital revolution, parties continue to invest significantly in mass campaign rallies. Why does this enduring tradition persist in the age of digital campaigning? Recent studies reveal that voters, particularly in populous states like Uttar Pradesh, still value in-person interactions with political parties. Door-to-door -door canvassing and mass rallies are perceived as crucial for effective voter outreach, even among smartphone users. This sentiment underscores the enduring importance of physical campaigning in India's diverse political landscape. Parties strategically leverage social media to amplify the impact of in-person rallies. Rally content, including crowd photographs and speech excerpts, is disseminated widely on platforms like Twitter and WhatsApp. This content serves as real-world evidence of a party's popularity and can sway voter perceptions in a digitally connected society. In essence, technology is transforming Indian elections through online and offline campaign activities, reinforcing each other's impact. As India gears up for the future, the synergy between technology and traditional campaigning will continue to reshape India's elections. Bureau report, Beyond World is One. All right, to discuss this further, we're now being joined by Jayan Krishna, Senior Fellow, Center for Strategic and International Studies, live from Delhi. Thank you so much for joining us on World Business Watch. Thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure. Uh, now, sir, I want to begin by asking you, what's your assessment of the impact technology has on polls in the modern day? See, if you look at, uh, you know, India is today the leader uh, in, in global global telecom and software revolution. Uh, 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 telecom side, not so much in terms of technology, but in terms of usage and uh, very, very big, uh, you know, large user base and uh, software by way of talent and skills and so on and so forth. You know, if you look at the data today, almost uh, 600 million Indian voters are uh, smartphone users, which is almost two third of all Indian voters are smartphone user users. The inter internet users in India are about 750 million uh, people, you know. So, so the, you know, deployment of technology by political parties, you know, it, it results uh, in a low cost outreach, saves time, there are gains of efficiency, productivity. And let's understand, you know, there, there's a massive scale up in, in, in the content uh, production. You know, it happens... Uh, uh, you know, at a never before velocity and, and the dissemination of this content, uh, also uh, leveraging uh, digital plat digital platforms happens in a very, very fast track uh, manner. And the consumption by voters is almost at the speed of thought of uh, politicians, you know. So I think uh, if you look at all political parties in India put together, and I mean, there are no uh, authentic figures available, but people say that, you know, almost uh, $50 million is the amount that they have spent on artificial intelligence enabled uh, outreach uh, itself, you know. So hmm. I think uh, the digital narrative is surely, uh, uh, you know, it seems to be scoring over the physical rallies, not that physical rallies significance has reduced, but I think both have to go hand in hand. All right. So I also want to get your thoughts on uh, the downsides of campaigning in this tech age. Of course, we've been seeing how deep fakes that's proven to be a menace in the, this digital landscape. So I think I think that's 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 the flip side of it. Uh, you know, I think you have uh, artificial intelligence uh, voice clones. You know, you have uh, AI using uh, deep fake uh, audio and video technology, which is there. So I think uh, the whole whole problem is that you know uh, 
you know, uh, how far you go and not beyond. I think that's that's the whole, uh, you know, the, potentially there could even be a hate campaign using digital technology and uh, potentially, you know, it can it can even kick off uh, riots and uh, very, very adverse reactions, you know. So I think let's, uh, and also, uh, you know, as uh, politicians are using AI-enabled uh, translation devices, I think it's also a bit risky because, you know, when it comes to multiple languages in the country, each language has its own nuances. And sometimes when you do online translations at the at the same time while a speech is being delivered for different in different languages, you know, there could be a deep, uh, you know, cultural issues and, and sensitivities, you know, which which can trigger a huge debate and, and, and even go against uh, the parties uh, leveraging that. So I think and and the biggest downsize to my mind is, you know, countries like China, you know, they could possibly, uh, uh, you know, deploy AI generated uh, content, you know, to to influence Indian voters, you know, for 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 their own vested interests. So I think that also can't be ruled out. So that's 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 a huge uh, setback by, uh, you know, uh, going, you know, treading too far on the on the on the digital and the AI uh, track, uh, you know, by political parties. You know. All right. Well, Mr. Jain Krishna, thank you so much for joining us on World Business Watch with your insights on this. Pleasure. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.